Hey everybody, I hope everything's going well down there. Things are going well over here. And today I toured a whole lot of the Savannah campus of SCAD, but we also got to tour the school and see some really cool stuff. And I got that normal kind of college tour, just as far as in like on the surface kind of idea of a campus and things like that. I mentioned that Savannah itself's a pretty beautiful place. I went another walk this morning before the tour started. Uh, I can't help but think when I walk through the parks that if it were a little darker, that it'd be like perfect to be filming some kind of weird, like vampire film. Um, just kind of spooky. And then the it, it's tough growing up in Anchorage, I think, for you guys to understand that the idea of, of age and oldness and that kind of stuff. And it's really neat here. You know, Anchorage is, you know, 100 years old and most of the construction you guys interact with is less than even 30 years old in many situations. Um, and here we're talking about homes and bricks that are hundreds of years old. In fact, when we went to the SCAD Museum today, they were in the middle of putting an exhibit up, so there wasn't much up. What was great is that it's in an old factory where they used to make bricks, pre-Civil War era brick-making facilities. Um, and you can still see those original arches here and things like this. What's beautiful is that they've taken this whole town and a lot of really old buildings and turn them into the buildings that are the campus and each building that houses a different aspect of SCAD of the college itself they each have their own character that strikingly fit the program that's going on so you have this great kind of welcoming area where the the staff works for uh, the outreach and the the almost the, those crews the admissions crew and you know, there's really great places for people to meet and see and and learn information about it. This great tree, which is all light bulbs and those st strings you see hanging, those tags, all have people's wishes and dreams on what they want to do written on them. Uh, prospective students that are being accepted and going through orientation and, and those kinds of things. And, and they all lead up to lights that turn on. So really kind of a beautiful functional piece, this tree. Um, and their use of space is brilliant everywhere you go. I mean, absolutely brilliant. If we had a million dollar grant, you know, we could turn our school into something similar to it, some of those spaces we have. But, you know, even better, maybe we should start talking about making those spaces ourselves. Um, so we have things like the uh, Fashion College and the, the Fashion um, Management College, which is the idea of not just designing clothing and lines of clothing, but also what it takes to order enough of what you need to run a line and to put a line into a store and to do those kinds of things so that you know for for me and and for some of you that really kind of geeky stuff that goes into the nuts and bolts of of bringing art to more people um, and then we also got to check out uh, some really cool animation stuff and the kind of visual arts sections um, all the way from like classic watercolor and that kind of painting to, you know, um, animation classes focused and animation degrees focused on like creating comic books and sequential art. Two places that, you know, were just a perfect geek out moment. For me, we went into the furniture design and industrial design complex, which I'm pretty sure Noah Malika, uh, you would go ballistic in this shop for industrial and furniture design and Quinn would absolutely blow his mind going into their um, industrial design shop with their printers um, but that's not all I mean I got to see things that I I could it was great because I would go through these places and quite literally could think of many of you that that we've been around each other for a few years would just absolutely go bonkers, insane, happy, living and learning and working in these types of environments. Um, yeah, all uh, woodworking, metalworking, including old forge style hammer beating on anvils to um, plastic mold pumping and forming and just, it's, it's a place where you're going to learn some book work and then you're going to go into a place and you're going to take those amazing ideas that you guys have and you get to actually turn them into reality. And I, I, don't, I, I can't explain to you how exciting that is and I understand that I'm a college tour and that 
they're going to do everything they can to show us what's exciting. But over and over and over again, when we've gone into places where I didn't see students like this um, beautiful old synagogue that was turned into basically a space for students to chill out and talk and learn. And I, and I didn't see people, I didn't see students, I didn't see students working. And I, and I asked all day long, where is everybody in the library, uh, this beautiful library with this, again, wonderful use of space, you know, tons of books directly related to the careers that you're interested in, tons of media files, computer labs that take our studio, which is probably one of the best spaces in the district and multiply it times a hundred with the access you have and that every piece is purposely, I mean, it's a design school, but it's, it's purposely designed so that your experience with it as is as is fulfilling as the work you're doing and what you're learning. And, and it's not my job to sell you on a college, but again, over and over again today, I saw things that made me think of all of you. Um, those of you I've worked with longer and know you even better, there are some places here that would just blow your mind and you'd really dig it. Now, then I went into a place where Chris Simmons and, and your crew are going to just go bonkers and then Bryce, um, big Bryce, not little Bryce, um, you as well. I got to go into their kind of motion graphics, video game design and kind of animation areas and it is it's it's beyond phenomenal I mean just walking through and seeing students working on what they're working on and then I sat and played a few demo video games that were built by students and um, I got to also in another space uh, look at people who are working with teams collaborating on design ideas for companies think of like the PSAs and the commercials we've done for companies and how that system works but imagine now actually designing and working through concepts and ideas and branding and things like that for people like BMW and Coca-Cola and Disney and working with people from those groups in the same situation of a client and a team and having your work actually go on to be with those companies and being able to slide that experience into a portfolio for when you're looking for a career. This isn't this isn't like our parents' idea of an art school. They they're taking the same concepts that you and I have worked so hard to build, the idea of taking something we really care about, the creation of things that are both artistic and technical and in a school setting applying those to real world situations. It was a thrilling day. Tomorrow I'm headed to Atlanta for um, the, the big event, the TV Fest, and uh, I'll have more information. I get to look more at those media programs and the, the TV kind of broadcast style programs. Um, tomorrow, Savannah campus, beautiful town. Not all of the city of Savannah is the same as downtown, but where you would be living and working and playing and going to school if you are on this campus is pretty phenomenal. I'll give you more information about scholarships and things like that in the next one as well. So this got too long. Good night.